Hey, you friggin' dorky worky. You're live at the dork table on this here September the 9th, 8th, 9th, 8th, 2018. It's not my fault. Yes, it is. It, every well, Everything is your fault. I thought you knew that. Rob, Rob is accusing me hmm. of uh, if the show's going to start late again. Yeah. Hey, it wasn't my fault. It, no, amazing. it was actually it was me this time. I'm I'm being my totally compliant self, and for some reason, God doesn't like me today. And she's, yeah, you're she's, the fly in the ointment. Yeah, she's not letting me stay online in the dork zone. Oh, hey, right. I tried to so, upgrade Arkansas to dork and saw, and <clears throat> didn't go anywhere. See what happens? <sighs> Just trying to be funny. Trying to improve your life. Uh -oh. Anyway, don't mash with Arkansas, buddy. This it's like is don't mess with Texas. Flash somebody and a uh, Vinny. And looking for my uh, my game name today. So uh, hopefully uh, Frumpy will show up here to the Dork Table and oh, yeah. help me come up with a uh, a name. Yeah, the Dork Table with uh, Flash and Vinny. Yeah, and, uh, that's today nice. it is God and government. Uh, today and today I'm in tune and I'm not going to fuck up like I did Tuesday night and chicken out but it was such a yeah um, you got me with a real personal one somehow you know so but today I'm going to play like a, a real dork okay well uh, I've been trying to dork around with this computer and I think I can Switch between windows and thanks uh, Rob works for yeah. saying uh, don't don't use tabs use a new window and that seems to be keeping me from falling out of the chat we, room over. We uh, just passed the two minute mark. We've been having technical difficulties on this here table, and so far so good. Why don't you uh, tell everybody who you are, where we're at, and why we're here? Hey, this is me, Vin E R L M Radio Radio. Oh. Yes. RLMradio.xyz R right here at RealLibertyMedia.com. That stuff. Yeah, and you can uh, you can find us over on the Twitter sphere and places like that. And we're uh, we're broadcasting and landing downstream, uh, splashing around in the waters. You can find us in places like uh, Mines and uh, Real Liberty and uh, all kinds of places to see uh, uh, Freedom's Network. Still uh, judging along. So Where else? Far, so far, but you you do have to say hello to the RLM crowd. Well, there's yeah, our uh, working man right up on top, the bar man. Hey, our, uh, bar man. Bot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does really great things uh, over here in the chat. Serve you up some coffee and sort of things like that. There's our uh, amazing cowboy tech. Cowboy tech. Hey, hey. Yeah. He's, uh, he's puffing around out there in the western fire somewhere. Oh, and uh, okay. there is the great Grimner. Hey, Grim. He's yeah. the man that makes it all possible. Yeah, we had a panic attack and thought we needed Grim to back us up. and Nope. We can do this all by ourselves without parental supervision. Hey, hey. Isn't that cool? There's the mighty moose girl. Hey, moose. Anyway. The moose is loose. Hi, Kate. Uh, moose Kate, I see. Yes. There's Anthony Jordan has showed up. Anthony Jordan has showed up. Ah, very nice. He says, uh, he says hi, yes, and uh, he got uh, notification when the stream comes up. And, uh, hey, thanks for the uh, real liberty over there. Uh, R L O. So he knows. Yep. Yeah, our new uh, social uh, uh, social site, social media site. Yeah, there. It's like kind of like a resurrection of an, an old theme, but mm -hmm. it, Back, but in uh, a new yeah, light. world truth. Yeah, world truth. A, a lot of the people that were originally there when I was there at the end <laughs> have returned. So <laughs> it's kind of cool to see a lot of these old faces, so to speak, on the. Real liberty, liberty dot org. Hey, I just tested my mic uh, on and off there. Yeah. Uh, thanks, yeah. thanks for work? the headset. Yeah. Oh, you're uh, very welcome. Yeah. Yeah, from you and Circle. 
You're well, yeah. Well, that makes this easier for everybody. Yeah. So uh, I think it's got real good audio. I did some tests. Pancakes. <laughs> so, hey, Mental cakes. pancakes. Yeah. Howdy, cakes. <laughs> Hey, but the world you traveler. Off, you left off at Phantom. Oh yeah, you Phantom. Right over always Phantom. We went right to Anthony Phantom. Jordan. Yeah, I'm keeping. Oh track yeah, well, you. He, yeah. He, I seen him jump in there. I saw him. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, see. Yeah. Oh, I, that's right. I'm still here. I forgot to talk. Okay, and right back. That didn't take that's long That's right. No, but now I get the point. Uh, I, I'm <laughs> experienced. I'm a, I'm ready for this today. Good, good. good, good. Gonna, so we'll have some burps, burps and bubbles. We're going to find and, uh, a way to pull this damn dork table off one way or another way. That's right. There's Judge Dredd. He jumped out Whoa. to go uh, get the lawn mode. Good for that's probably, him. Yeah, that's probably code. You know, he's a secret agent, man. Oh, yeah, that means he's going to go down and pick up a few bucks at the Starbucks. Whoops, uh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> anti. Damn hey, you, anti. filthy-minded swine. Yeah. <laughs> anti, how you doing? <laughs> uh -huh. uh -oh. And thanks again, Anthony. Anthony George. Asmo. Asmo. Asmo, he used to be on top. Yeah. He used to always be on top. You ever play trivia with the guy? Uh, I don't remember if he's been in there when I played or I not. I have. Oy. Try him sometime. I got him. He types fast, and he knows the answers. So, did you? You didn't uh, see. You didn't quit broadcasting. Uh, I don't think so. Because no, no you didn't. Because only the Skype fell off. Right. Right. So yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll just bring that back. It'll just be the the second weirdest show we've ever done. <laughs> We, yeah. we will I, find I think, a way. I think you're giving yourself too much credit for this one. Huh? <laughs> oh, shut up. Hey, Beth. Say hi there, to There's my uh, second ben. favorite Canadian at Real Liberty Media. Of course, Frumpy's, uh, Frumpy's a favorite. Represent Who can't love Frumpy? The Northern World. Chalcedony. Chalcedony. That's a rock. Oh, Did you know that? Yeah. Chalcedony is a rock. Really? Yeah, I asked Chalcedony one day, what does your name mean? It's a rock. It's a rock. Now you know. Now you've is been that, enlightened. Is not is information not everything they tell you it is? Is that over close by Iran? I don't know. Iran. No, I'm sorry. A rock Chloe and Iran. Singular. And Colfax 101. Colfax 101. Yeah, hey, my favorite. <laughs> hey, box. Who, who about this uh, <laughs> this cyber noodle? Yes, what what about the cyber? <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> there's another type. There's another type of Chloe down there. Uh, She's uh, built in. her name architecturally. Yeah, but look who snuck in, Don C. Hey, he's Don. all sneaky, Don underscore C. Yeah, he thinks we and don't yeah. know. D C and Dakota. Uh, Dakota. Hey, look. And at there's me. the dork. That's there's me. the dork. Hey, wait up. You. Yeah. Flash somebody. There's Frumpy. And there's Frumpy and Grams. Grams. And Whoa. Gromit. Gromit. And I hey, beat Don C. I see him again. Look at these double The Jabba Doctor. Jabba Dabber. Twice. Jabba Doctor 2. Yeah. Jay's and JJ's 9. Jays. Hey, you want a taco? Taco. <laughs> Kozu. <laughs> that's, hey, that's look at this one. Layer 8. That's, that's original. <laughs> Layer 8. I wonder what Layer, Layer 7 looks like. <laughs> Woody! <laughs> Yo. Oh. Oh, yeah, but Mr. Said, Meister and Moy. He, he said he had to ha work a half a day, and he was all scattered all over the place when he was on uh, the chat earlier. It's a grayish court, transluent to transparent milky or grayish quartz with distinctive microscopic crystals arranged and slender fibers in parallel bands. Wow. Thank you, uh, Miss Fluke and Grimner. All you got to do uh, is speak around here and people give you answers. Yes. Wow. Beyond a moi is uh, pancakes. Woohoo! Mental Mr. pancakes. Mr. Mental. And then what do we have? A box of boxes, and fights, and phones, and sauces. Pond sauce. Brain. 
in rain. Rain. Rain to wash it all away. Thank you, Miss Fluke. Uh, RLM Fluke. Fluke. Mm. Yeah. Scuba! Fires up the bubblers. He's, Fire up the bubblers. He is, you know, that's going to be his crest on the RLM is it'll be a bong. <laughs> bloop, bloop. The only bloop, bloop. the only bad part about being the, the bubbler is you got to keep the bong water clean. <laughs> Don't drink the bong water. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I wonder what would happen, though. Probably get sick. No, I don't know. See, I've never had the balls to do it. So really, nah, oh, I'm not. I'm not into. St- what? Hey, come on. Maybe you're into drinking stinky, weird shit that smells foul, but I'm not. <laughs> well, you don't. Don't let it get stinky and foul. Vin E. Wait, we left. Uh, we left a uh, uh, sock. Puppet. I'm reading from the bottom. Skittle. Up, but I'm doing oh. it the dork way. Do it then. I was reading from the bottom up. We'll Suck, puppet, and then we go back to hey, bubbler. Uh, so, hey everybody, uh, there's uh, there's two of me down there in the bottom. Yeah, well, so what? There's always two of you. Even <laughs> when you're alone, that. there's two of you. Yeah, no, light that light that thing up, man. You might as well get nice and juicy for this particular episode because, sir, I am armed <sighs> and prepared to do verbal. Whatever the fuck it is we do here, <laughs> I highly doubt that. The, the Speaking of personalities, yeah, I I like uh I like the zombie apocalypse genre, so uh, I've been listening to zombie apocalypse novels for a long, long time now. Have you? <laughs> Have you yeah, learned anything, or is it just the same old tired old bullshit? No, 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 no. Because see, I'm writing this uh um uh. uh apocalyptic novel in my head right and uh, so just all the stuff that could ever happen i would kind of want to add it all up all these possibilities and uh so yeah actually uh there's a quite a bit of uh, a wide band of uh, possibilities in a, a zombie apocalypse from you know what causes the apocalypse what causes the uh, uh or uh, and how uh uh, these zombies are how they respond and, you know, their abilities and so forth from the, the dumbest to the, uh, the most, uh, wickedness of minds. These zombies exist in, uh, it, it, all kinds of, uh, possibilities. So yeah, it's pretty neat. If, uh, yeah, if you can survive a zombie apocalypse and, uh, everything else is pretty much, uh, uh easy, pretty, pretty easily yeah. done. But you're basing all this on the future, not on the present, right? Well, uh, a lot is allegory too, because um, Ooh, the uh, the zombies, yeah, the zombies that uh, exist around us in the world yeah. today are, are pretty prominent. Prominent? Wow! <laughs> what did you buy a dictionary or something? What's going on here, Vince? Um, yeah, <laughs> I just. I, I, Last I, week you were I, an ignorant redneck, and now you're a damn like a Harvard scholar. What the fuck? One, one of the many Vinnies. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. <laughs> hey, yeah, somebody cleaned that duck. Even well, a shot broke a duck clock is clean twice a day. <laughs> yes, crazy, crazy talk. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Anyway, so what's on your mind this week, Bozo? <laughs> well, uh. We were superheroes last week. You're wrong. (laughs) You're wrong. We should kind of get down to earth. Down here where these uh, zombies live. (laughs) You're wrong. Down where the zombies play. (laughs) Okay, zombies, huh? I I don't believe believe in zombies. Please. Now, are you talking (laughs) mental zombies, mental of the mind zombies, or physical zombies of the physical yeah, both. Of course, in the books, they're they're the physical type, and uh, you know we see examples of zombies in the world today. Uh, what, any possibility eat? of yeah, a biomedical uh, uh, type of deal? Oh, they're the ones For eating the GMOs CDC. and the fluoride. Yeah. Uh, so uh, wait, so a zombie can thrive in GMO and fluoride, but a regular person can't. <laughs> 
Not <laughs> Rob's <to eat> wet <laughs> by. Rob's still <laughs> surprised to find out he was supposed to clean the bong water. <laughs> oh, oh! I thought he was talking about the duck. He's shot <laughs> <laughs> no, the bong water. I just waited a long time to say anything about it because <laughs> we've got the wacky chat. But <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> let us do what dorks do and confront the issue what's the f- issue again <laughs> I, I don't know but let's zombies do it. hey look urban dictionary you started in it the chat. urban dictionary what's the dork? in the chat oh yeah they're gonna make fun of us there it is oh, pretty no. fitting see they confused a, a dork with a uh a, a nerd so a dork is not a nerd no me and me and uh Grimner are very clear because when we do battle in the um, trivia game on Sundays, he is the nerd in that game, and I yeah. am the dork because I, so I can't. Yeah, I can't type with two fingers, and um, I'm fast. Take but <laughs> uh, well, I could maybe do that too. It's just my answers don't hit the board fast enough, no matter what I do most of the time. So here, here's our uh, here's Dorky. our. Dot UD uh, from uh, Mrs. Uh, RLM Fluke. Someone who has odd interest and is often silly at times. A dork is also someone who can be themselves and care not what others think. That's right. So, what do you think about that? I don't. Well, let me tell you what I I think about you, Mr. I think you're all for government. What do you think? I think government can kiss my lily white butt cheeks. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh. I, I get a pick, so oh. I choose the anti-government side. So oh, you gotta be I'd be government. for it. Okay. Yeah. So no, let's I'm see. kidding you. I'm just kidding you. <laughs> that would be kind of fun. I was going to get into it. <laughs> I could be a Republican it. for two hours. It won't kill me. Bad it won't, wolves. It won't damage up. my marriage, or it won't cause any irreparable damage. Of course, I won't be paying any attention, so I won't remember I said it. <laughs> well, well, let's let's start out with a little bit of uh, <clears throat> parameters. Uh, so, the idea of what what is government? Right? Is it an idea or the actual uh, physical buildings and people that uh, in- incorporate it? into the uh, places no, and halls and by seats definition, of decision. By definition, it's both. But it, the word definition is uh, mind control, basically. Yeah. If you break it down into the two words that it came from, it means uh, mind control. Goober meant. See, si, si, ignore. But the people, they so love. So, Goober, love the- that's like governor, like a truck. Yeah. You know what a governor oh, is? Oh, yeah. It controls the flow of the fuel to your carburetor so you can't go so fast. Well, there's other mechanisms, but basically, yeah. It, uh, I'm prevents, old. Uh, I remember a carburetors. Come on. Give me a break. Yeah. I may not use them anymore, but I, I did when I was younger. So to control the speed of the mind. Ah, you bastard. How fast <sighs> is that? Too fast. I'm crushed now. <clears throat> on but my, then there's my illusion of there's government. this idea. What is uh, what is the actual physical process and operation of government? Uh, what is its purpose uh, in police and and legislative powers and so forth? So let's look at government in an anarchical society. What what would you think about that? Is there a place for government in anarchy? And the uh, true definition of anarchy of no rulers. Yes, right. I witnessed it with my own two eyes for eight months, <clears throat> almost weekly. What'd you witness? Anarchy at at work in a in a social setting. Where? Free t- Freetown, Christiania, Denmark. I guess it's part of Denmark. I don't I don't know what the damn. I, you can't really claim it. It would just be Freetown, Christiania. But and they have rules there. Of course. Well, come on. Of course they do. So who enforces those rules? They don't have to. Really? Why? Because people are more or less responsible for their self there, and they know better. If you fuck up, you're going to get your face kicked in. So, so they, somebody's they just going to... 
pretty much. It's they mob, have mob rule then. Not mob rule oh. so much as uh, this guy is like, you know, one of the muscle that takes care of any situation that might come up. Like they a take cop. take care of their own. Yeah, like like a police, but without the uh, intrusion of it. You got to do something there to get fucked with. Uh, I, like har- harm well, somebody? Well, there's a... She's, she's getting mad. Okay, she's getting mad because of my interpretation of it. <laughs> well, yeah, because I see it my way. Now I got my wife mad. Uh, well, yeah. I set you up for it. Well, I don't think you just flopped on your but, face all by yourself. Yeah, but it's 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 not the same as <laughs> it's not the same as like having cops and shit. People are just it's the same better. but different. It's different, different but the same. I went there for eight months and never saw an argument, and uh, most of the, all everybody had dogs, bicycles, dogs. There was a few places you could drive through for delivery purposes. They so made, there was a very high concentration of people that thought alike. Yeah, well, not really thought alike, but lived in peace. They live in a peaceful surrounding, but think alike? No, I don't think so. Okay, because the then buildings there is those are, people that get to all, slip in there that all the buildings uh, are contrary. There, Right, but all the buildings there are done by the people that live in the building. So they decorate them however they want. There's not like codes or you just do it. And some where, some are fancier than others. So that shows where do people poop? In a toilet. <laughs> They've where got indoor the plumbing. Where does uh, it drain to? What do I look like? The United Nations? Well, I'm just wondering. Uh, I wouldn't even ask a question path. like that. And, and speaking of poop, uh, we got the good stuff. It is uh, 420 right here somewhere. I'm doing my shit. Liberty Media. When I was there, they do commerce with the Danish kroner just like everybody else. The difference is the government does not own the land they're on. Nobody really owns the land that they sit on. And they don't sell what they sit on. They won't sell it. They won't sell out. So there's basically squatting yeah they came along and squatted on some abandoned uh yeah a military, military. thing or something yeah. like yeah and they did wonders with it too i was impressed. so now they're now they're maintaining the the sewer and water and streets and oh yeah all Every, that uh, yeah everything's so, delegated within the the i guess the political structure of of what keeps it operating but it's so no not, sign up sheet right i mean i don't what people can lay around and do nothing if they wish, or they can just voluntarily decide that, uh, hey, I think I'll go down and uh, put some fluoride in the water, make sure everybody's safe. Well, no, no, no. It, it's see, it's not even like when I was there; uh, those kind of ideas never even occurred to me. And they have the beef, operating man. restaurants and bars. They got health food stores. They got bicycle shops. You know, whatever you need to get through, they're they're fairly self-contained. But they still barter with the um, with the Danish kroner. But they haven't sold out the property. Whatever control people have over the land that they're standing on is it's hard for me to define. I'm giving a giving it a an, my input from the way I see it. And Cirque lived there, so she sees it the way she sees it. But when I was there, of course, I see uh, I saw the people around me without being able to speak to a lot of them and had to make up my own mind about what, what the hell that guy was sitting there with that dog for. <laughs> and he was saying things like, Ethan, Ophan, Ethan, Ophan, Ophan, something like that. No, they speak Danish, but they're very, you know, they're, Freetown's a very comfortable, nice place. It's hard to explain. There's like a freedom to it. You just, I never saw people arguing or uh, disagreeing or nothing. It just... A lot of people sitting around smoking hash, playing games. Backgammon is real big, and uh, what else? Um, restaurants. The food was pretty busy. People eating. But and bunch the bars of were full. now there was a, a one bar where people were a lot looser in the social graces. But even when I drank around there, nothing ever happened. It was just like a, a less money. You know, lower uh, lower income, making the money stretch. Crap, so, than, uh, what? well, any on any certain day, 
you know, it's possible that uh, the uh, people that the military or whoever it is, the Queens, what does uh, circles say? Queen something, Queensland. Yeah. AK Queens. Yeah. State land. They might come back one day and say, uh, y'all get up out of here. Then I don't what? know. I don't know. They haven't. But yeah, Cirque says they don't wish to anyway. Nobody, nobody wants anybody to leave anywhere. This it's the American influence of the war on drugs that keeps the problem alive because they smoke hash there. So what if somebody wants to do some hair on? They aren't welcome there. Well, you all that you can't do drugs in Freetown. You can only smoke. Well, that sounds like rules. And drink, <laughs> drink. Well, okay, uh, social. Sure, you're going to have some kind of rules in a society. What they're going to tell you what and, they won't tell you. And the enforcers, you got the tough guys to enforce it. It's kind so of obvious. They would go kick uh kick the crap out of some heroin addict and toss them out the side the bounds. Except that they don't go there in the first place because nobody nobody goes there to do that. So there's another there's a part of free, um of Denmark or Denmark Copenhagen where you go for that. You're putting a problem where it doesn't exist because of where you're from. It's a little Hmm. bit more organized in the underground world over here than I ever thought it could be. So there's a lot of drug addicts in the big cities, you know, people on heroin. Any uh, big city, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you you have somebody uh, standing by uh, in the uh, heroin trade? How do you mean? Uh, We was talking about the guy, that guy. Oh! <laughs> Zero De Niro, my good friend. Zero De Niro, yeah. yes. That guy, that guy, that guy. Well, yeah, he was he's the world renowned Mexican heroin dealer. He knows everything about heroin. How to buy it, how to sell it, which banks he prefers over which banks, you know, to clean up all the dirty money. And he can tell you things about, you know, how to maintain a four hundred dollar a day habit and still keep your job. <laughs> What kind of jobs? <laughs> I'm fucking around. Oh, hey, you can st- I I used to uh, work in business at a time in in my life where other people did a lot of drugs that I didn't do. Yeah, I knew some people that were doing heroin my younger right. year. But I'm just saying, when I was working in certain industries, different industries, there were higher ups that did the expensive shit I couldn't afford. <laughs> and we knew about it, but, you know, couldn't prove it. But when, you know, when Zero De Niro came by to make his delivery, it was kind of obvious. <laughs> Zero De Niro. <laughs> no, no money, no honey. Well, isn't that the way the world really operates? It is. Hey, isn't it? I was just te- I just was at the end of my rope on YouTube, right? Looking for this film. It's called The Million Pound Note with Gregory Peck. And two or three days back, they put it up, a full-length version of this old, goofy 1954 movie. It's about two millionaires making a bet about if a man, uh, how he would live for a month with a million pound note and what the results would be. And I was trying to find it so I could show Cirque. And boom. And you never was. found it? Yeah. I oh, found you did find two, it. Two, two, yeah. They brought it. It's like I have ESP. And people read my mind. And they go, hey, Flash wants to see. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm kidding around. But it was just kind of fortunate. Because it's a favorite old movie of mine. But it's it's that shows us in movie f- form what the bankers do with us and how easy it is to do. Fortune favors the prepared mind. You think? Yeah. You don't you don't think there's idiots that just fall into fortunes out there? Yeah, there's a lot of bumbling uh for certain. Hey, let me go back over here uh switch oh. windows. Uh. Actually, I, th- I I think I have something that's uh relative to that uh, really? I posted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and yeah, we uh okay, baby. Well, snatched it. Don't call me baby. I was talking to my wife. Oh. 
High circles. She's she going to take. Yeah, we pissed her off with our version of her home. <laughs> but <laughs> stupid see, American. Pretty much because we've been so beaten up compared to this other country. They're like, I'm telling you, we come from barbed wire and there's this rope and their rope is loose. So they don't feel like we do. It's different for them. They're I like more, mine, Bill. Yeah, they're more relaxed and comfortable people, you know, and they they just go through a lot less violence than we do as Americans or have, you know, with all that TV and movie bombarding all the time compared to what it is here. Well, the idea of government here in America and uh, how people see it has uh, really changed a lot over the decades. Yeah, well, this is a national socialist I think that's what they call it. I mean, if you're going to give it a title, a name, National Socialist. So it's here we commie, go. Yeah, commie, it's commie land, I guess. But the people that live here think communists are different than the people that live here. So, wow. It's all a matter of how you, you know, what you believe you know about what you're seeing. Men of intemperate minds cannot be free. Uh oh, uh, you're getting the, all their passions, their passions forge their fetters. Edmund Burke and uh, oh, Hans you... Dredd, yeah, he pop, popped that in there and uh, referring to uh, free, our free and slave. He uh, puts that on the outbound on his leaving chat at some time. So, yeah, intemperate minds. Well, you lost me, mister. I don't well, know. Well, I. I'll I'll say it this way that uh, um, the uh, mobocracy people um, vote for their passions and for their uh, their piece of the treasury and so then every everything ends up where you know where it is today. Mm. Well, I don't I don't know if you can take all this crap seriously beyond having the the sense to stay away from as much of it as you can then. I guess you like it. You know what happened 44 years ago? Today? Yeah. Uh, September 8th, 1974. Uh, Richard Nixon got, um, got uh, what is it, disgraced or cut out? Pardon. Out of, pa pardon. Yeah. Ford, Ford oh, we got pardon, pardon today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for his uh, role in the Watergate. Wasn't he a swell guy? Don't you just love Tricky Dicky? First of all, I'd like to say I'm not a crook. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. I, I spent a lot of years in the town that he was really born in, and his mother was so ashamed of their their uh, <coughs> the poverty of of the Whittier that she claimed pa to be from. Palo Alto. From, no, they were from Whittier. They, Whittier? They yeah. Uh, they they claimed uh, your Belinda. As that's where your Belinda, yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. Your Belinda, that's they yeah. got a big uh, uh, he was uh, let's see, Mennonite, I think, right? Or I'm not or sure Quaker, about that. no, Quaker, something like that, or a shaker, something coming out of, out of that. Uh, he was a lion crook. <laughs> I, don't, I can't do the, the that's a hard voice to do. Ugh. Loma Linda has a very, very big uh, uh, uh I think it's a university hospital of yeah. uh. Uh, the Seventh Day Adventist. Yeah. Hey, they're <laughs> playing the duck game on the RLM. Hey, I got this from Chuck O'Chelly, uh, Joseph E. Green, uh, coming soon. Uh, it's the Black Panther history, the Black Panther Party. Uh, micro, what is this? Uh, microcosm, yeah, microcosmpublishing.com, catalog yeah. Uh, designs. Yeah. Somebody's a ding pinging me over there. Ping pinging you? Are you all? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're yeah. all into the internet now. Well, yeah, I'm over on this other window. I'll go back over to the other window here. Just like oh, here's uh from behind uh behind the woodshed, Hal oh, Anthony. Oh hey Hal. Broadcasting uh, right here on Real Liberty Media Sundays at noon o'clock uh, Pacific. That's out there on the left coast where the fires will at least uh warm your some, feet. <laughs> yeah, warm your feet. That's okay, at the very mind. least. That's if you're, yeah, it's, don't get too close to that shit. You know what? I saw pictures of the fires in uh, California. You know what I was you know missing? How? You, you what? know what was missing? Burnt trees. What? 
burnt, burnt trees. trees. Huh. I saw everything there's else all fire. fucking burn up, and there's trees. Well, went. Yeah, uh, there's different types of fires. There's different types of fires. Um, there's three. There is three zones of a fire of a yeah. wildfire. There's it's in the ground where uh, it will actually be burning down in the ground. There's the one where it burns across through the top. I mean, uh, you know, top of the ground. And then there's the uh, I forget the name for it, but anyways, it burns up into the canopy into the tree uh, tree tops. Yeah. So you can have yeah you can have uh, uh, one of those or any combination of those as well. So. Well, fires, uh, yeah, fires different, and it depends on the conditions, time of year, uh, and so forth. Uh, as used uh, properly, uh, fire is a maintenance tool. You know, you'd be burning when it only just go uh, through and burn the uh, the underbrush off, right? So you can have a fire blow through through, and the trees themselves not uh, not get burnt. Uh, so, and, and even if it was like a real quick blow through there like that, you'd have pockets of that. But the cars uh, are gonna um, burn. The cars are gonna burn, but not the trees. Yeah, you got uh, cars burn very easily. Uh, I did say easily. Uh, tires and and then the fuel. Uh, you have uh, the plastics and that sort of thing. So the heat uh, uh, would just cause the ignition of that right there. Yeah, cars would be quite common to burn. And then you have the canopy, the trees that would be evading those flames because of the uh, not meeting or following within that uh, criteria of uh, the full extent of that uh, range of fires. Understand? Mm. Let's see, uh, it's all that scientific -y jazz to explain a fire. I don't usually like that well, crap. Well, well, you got you got to have you, you got to have facts. I mean, you can't just like I understand that, well, but now let me tell you this: what Hal says, you might be able to handle the truth. But what are you uh, going to do with it? What are you going to do about it? Find yeah. out Friday feeling from behind yeah. Woodshed. That's the I'm hardest hit podcast on the interweb. I'm going to write it down on a brick. I'm going to throw it at you. You can't throw that far. Evidence is everywhere, man. Then Some I'll find somebody from, that lives in Dorkinsaw and I'll pay them to fucking do it. From Gary Long, our very own Gary Long. Evidence uh. is everywhere. Fast medication. Protecting weed and uh, sustainable development. Getting the upper glover. Wow, I'm so right. sick. That's over on bit shoot, bit shoot. I'm sick of this marijuana scam that they're pulling on us. Though it's it's embarrassing that we know what we know, and and the government is telling these fucking stories about new information has just you know science just found out Tuesday and bullshit they need to do is apologize stop the prohibition and just ignore the fucking weed and let people do with it what they want and if they want to make a pharmacy thing out of it and nobody wants it then that's called the free market <laughs> but we've got government controlling us like a bunch of dogs i have spoken <laughs> you have spoken well you know <sighs> Well, you differ with me there, sir. Uh, we have a statist among us. Mm. I, uh, yeah, I mean, what what you want somebody to do, what you want to happen, doesn't just happen, uh, especially when you consider there's forces that oppose it. For instance, here in Arkansas, uh, passed medical marijuana a couple of years ago, and there's still no dispensaries. And, and as uh, was being talked about in chat earlier, um, that's because of the interference. Who was that? Uh, um, Trust up number there in one. Ohio, I think it was, yeah. Trust Dino number Lee. one or Java. Uh huh. I thought yeah, it was both trust. of them. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and Java was Java was talking yeah. to, yeah. yeah. And, and the same thing going up there. They they throw these wrenches in and <clears throat> interference. Well, I back. I see that that way, and your <laughs> definition and explanation is a lot different because you're on that bit of dirt too. It makes a lot of difference when you're sitting where the problem's at than if you're judging it from afar. But I once had your problem. <laughs> now, not so much. I have a problem? The legal thing, as far as uh, acquisition <laughs> makes um, makes the uh, normal, average 9-to-5 person that doesn't know about the black market, <clears throat> well, that, that person is going to 
not really get it. They're going to think the government's saving people and <laughs> doing wonderful things. No, the government's just the drug dealer at, that, at the time. Well, that, it's, that's true. Financially, it's, yeah, it's just a matter of... Well, and then the difference between the government and, say, a dealer is the government's going to fuck with your product. See, a dealer wants the repeat business so he can make more money. The government has a captive audience and wants to fuck with you and experiment and see how far can we push these people before they turn on each other. Well, there's a, there's a system that um, is, shapes and molds the uh, society we live in, per, shapes the uh, perception of, of people. Um, and most people generally, uh, tend to generally um, drift towards certain ideologies and then the uh the sides that come along with those you know so yeah but there shouldn't be if you have an honest beginning in a situ you know in a thing with information attached to it if that information is honest and true there you go but it's all the deception that we go through that gets us to the place we're at we wouldn't deal with this if it didn't if it wasn't done to us it's, it's a terrible game. Yeah, but how do you change it? You know, people tell uh, the fucking that. truth. Live well, yeah. in yeah. Well, there you go. And there's like what you, hundred of us. To, maybe you got to demonstrate it, though. I mean, you can't just say things. You have to oh, make sure. a demonstration. Yeah. No, 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 no. Saying things is the beginning of it. When you think about it, yeah. Word of mouth is a great teacher because yeah. we're all connected to other people that are connected to other people. The problem is the desperation level for the knowledge is not, it's not there. We have not hit critical mass. I think, I think at times we have, but then I, I see we're stagnant. Nothing happens. The changes in are the just meantime, yeah. in, in the meantime, before we're ever to hit that place of utopia that uh, so many people uh, hope and dream and imagine, um, we are where we are, and we have what we have. And uh, there, there's those that uh, are are seeing this uh, um, perception laid out for us of uh, how government is actually doing, and uh, going in to oppose it. Well, what do you believe that your government is actually doing? Well, it uses control, and it uh, keeps us locked into a, oh. uh, a system a system of tyranny. And perpetual war uh, to uh, to destroy and rebuild and uh, to to continually fuel this uh, failed um, use of the Federal Reserve note, which is you know pure theft in oh, itself. Yeah. That yeah. whole system of the Federal Reserve, but it requires for the Ponzi scheme to continue. It requires to be continually being refueled. So uh, and without collapse. Uh, that that's just part of the uh, the nature of the beast and what it consumes and, and um, the appetizers are those people that get in the way mm-hmm. of that beast on his uh, way to feed. Are, are you getting in in the way of the beast on its way to feed? I uh I like to uh, stand there and just sidestep. Mm. That's that's uh that's the way. To be able to walk away in peace, right? So, uh, well, yeah, because individually that, you're just a morsel that the thing's going to gobble up. Yeah. So you need so a lot if you of choose. Mm-hmm. You need if a lot you choose of numbers. To put yourself, uh, and, and that the, they can actually come and grab a hold of you in jurisdiction. So the best way uh, to win in, in court is to stay out of court, right? Oh yeah, prove court my ass. I was watching a, what you call it, um, what's that, Netflix crap, right? The other day I was watching a Netflix program, and in, and they're supposed to be in a uh, hotel lobby or an airport. This is the scene that they're supposed to be playing in, and they got an admiralty court flag in the scene. <laughs> I went, wow. And I, I, it dawned on me, if they've been doing it in TV for a long time, but... Usually, when you see it, it was in a, like a courtroom or a, something official. 
Now they're putting that damn admiralty court flag in places where it would never be so that people won't notice the fringe around it when they... <laughs> that there's a difference about it. They won't even notice the fringe. Well, there was uh, one case where the judge told the guy, uh, well, we can take that fringe down and, and replace it with yeah, another flag. So exactly. That really, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Their statements, their uh, notice, but uh, they really... They're not physical uh, pieces of power. No, but it's they just are demonstration. They, but they are warnings, so you know. When you know, you can't fight them. That's the whole fucking point of that damn admiralty court. If you engage them, you've lost by engaging them. They tell you that. <laughs> so the the only way to beat them at their own game is to tell them to go fuck theirself in their own language. There's, there's a difference between his house is uh, between evade and avoid. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right. I've been accused of evading, and I don't think I do that. I think I avoid the, the pitfalls that people were kind enough to let me know existed. And I was lucky enough to have chosen the side that was true instead of falling for the con job. And it worked for me, you know. Jeez, I've got a birthday coming up so I can be a dick today if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no pre-license no pre-license buddy no no wait a minute hey i thought i paid the preacher for this yeah anyway. we'll talk about the, that in uh, the yeah. second hour what so what are you gonna bully me about this year god nothing you're not gonna make a good republican out of me so go vote for trump and you know <laughs> yeah. wave a flag and shit Hey, are you listening to me with a headset or speakers? Yes, both. Why? No, I unplugged the speakers, just the headset. Uh -oh. Why? What's your problem, man? Are you uh, on drugs? Have you uh, been smoking marijuana? Caffeine. <laughs> marijuana. What a fucking joke. It's not marijuana. I know that. You know that. But those 65 million Catholics that don't listen to the dork table, <laughs> they don't know that. Because <laughs> they listen to Father Stick It in My Pocket and he tells them different. You know? Or whatever. What do you call those Catholic guys that wear the funny clothes? <laughs> I don't know what to call them. The pointy hats and shit and they're in charge. Um, I don't know. Fathers? Fathers. No, wait a minute. It's that. I don't know. One of those religious names. Anyway, these guys. <laughs> it's, so, it's too funny. Oh, good Lord. Get on your knees. Open your mouth. I mean, what the? It looks like some kind of a initiation into a porn movie or something. Yeah. But I, I guess people think it's good. They do it willingly. And they even do it on TV. So it's safe. <laughs> I've seen on TV. That looks like a stupid thing to do to me, but hey, if that's the way you want to raise your kids, welcome to freedom. Freedom of choice. So how's I, this audio? Good. I just, I just wonder that if, if freedom of choice was free, how come you don't have a choice? You just got a story to follow, you know? Then nobody woke me up one day and said, hey, Go out and find your way. They said, you got to go to school. <laughs> and the rest is history because I wasn't real big on doing that. At some point, I failed school. <laughs> Miserable. Smoking in the boys. boys never. Room. Wow, never, yeah. never. Fuck that. Did you ever I, smoke in the boys room? No. Fuck. I thought that was stupid. How ignorant. Wow. You got this whole fucking park to smoke and you can go stand in a cubicle. What the fuck kind of idiot are you? <laughs> they had smoking areas in uh, high school when I was a kid. Yeah, well, they had the park there connected to the school where there was no nothing. <laughs> go smoke. People couldn't even see you. What are you going to go into a bathroom for and attract all that attention? That was just lame. Idiot. Trying to be uh, one of those thorns in the paw of society. I'm going to tell you from experience. You know what society does? They, what? 
they write a rule and then when they catch you breaking their little rule, they punish you for breaking it if you are caught. And you know what else? Sometimes just if you look like you were breaking it, they punish you because, hey, he broke it before, so he's probably breaking it again. (laughs) And we played that game for a few years. Me and the system. That worked so hard to enslave me. But failed, failed miserably to enslave me. But now I'm enslaved. But it's different. <laughs> I was okay with this one. That's good. Yeah, well, I knew what I was doing this time. Went, hey! <laughs> I'm no falling asleep here. over here. Well, yawn, then yawn. fucking You're argue about me. something, you bitch. Don't give me no shit. I'll slap you around like a Uh-oh. rusty board. You sound like you need a fiddle. Oh, yeah? A what do you want to argue about? Huh? I don't know. Well, what's on your mind? I don't know. You don't know? Well, How about a dog? <laughs> the girls have been talking about dogs. Hannah, Hannah's out for a walk with Cirque. How about not dogs? What else you got? Rain. Hmm? Are you rain. getting rain? Is that what your mood's no. about? You getting pounded? I ain't got rain. I did getting light rain. It's not enough to... Uh, Oh, you no, want to okay. get pounded, but you're not getting yeah. pounded, so you're pissed. Yeah, I like a good. Yeah, I want to uh, collect. The, uh, I want to fill my barrels that I got set up. Alert the media! Vincent wants a good pounding. <laughs> Wait a minute. Right. There it goes in chat. Poot. He's the poot man. I don't yeah. know if any. See what happened? Breaks bad. Vinny breaks bad. Yeah, you broke bad, but you didn't clear up the marijuana problems that the world has, and I'm disappointed it, in you. It's a plant, man. I know that. Well, how come these idiots won't leave it alone? Well, why do you keep calling it marijuana? I don't know. Habit. Because we all know what we're identifying. It's cannabis. Well, I know what it is, but I don't even smoke that. Do you? I smoke at the hashish, which is... What uh, kind of hash? It depends. Is it like the uh, how they make it, like in uh, uh, Pakistan and stuff? Yeah. Check out the yeah. trichomes. Yeah, in a brick. In it. And then they Chip smash it. Chip it off yeah. the brick. and Yeah, it's all that special. How much does it cost uh, for a gram of hash where you're at? Uh, or an ounce know. or whatever. What do they sell it by? I don't know, but when I was in Freetown... I don't know how to do the con- the con- hold on. It's a bad time to ask. I need to do uh, paper and pen to figure that one out. So I'd have buying- to translate the the dollar to a kroner for you, and then how much how much would have been? Um, wow, I don't know. I'm not really sure, but I think it would be roughly at the time I was buying it about ten. Ten, Ten bucks a gram? Yeah, I think it broke down. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty, That's pretty hey, high, man. Cost of living here. Well, this is this is why the, the population of Denmark is so small. If you if you uh earn Danish kroner, you come out with a real nice living because of the way the money system set up. But if you translate your money into Danish kroner, you take an ass whipping. Hmm. Because so of ten, taxes. ten bucks, ten bucks is a lot better money than better, more buying power. No, it's it's the same. Like it's the dollar is only worth not even worth two cents. It's pretty bad here. Yeah, the dollar's worth uh, about seven kroner. It's like the dollar to the peso. Then here, it's like we're like, the peso. Yeah, but the. Dancing, romancing, always on the go. Hey, this is a friend of uh, your guy, uh, Zero De Niro. It's Mexican Joe. Yeah. Good friends. Always on the go, even though he ain't got a De Niro. De Niro. He's got no Robert De Niro. Zero De Niro has got no Robert. They run together sometimes. What a problem to have in life. 
Uh, you know, I think maybe I'll write a book about the president <laughs> that was addicted to drugs. What do you think of that? Who's that? Kennedy. Bill? Well, that oh, was okay. one. Of, yeah, so, I was going to go further back, but yeah, okay, yeah, Clinton, Kennedy, George Bush was on some kind of fucking psychotic drug or something. Uh, did, you ever, did you ever not see that fucker with I, that dad goofy? Never knew. <laughs> he was always <laughs> bopping around like a bobblehead, uh, uh, just happy as fuck. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, that that seemed drug induced to me. Did you ever see the uh, what is it uh, the uh, Newcastle? No, the Harold and Kumar. Yeah, those were White, stupid, White Castle. Stupid, stupid. Yeah, but yeah. I endured it. But no, didn't, <laughs> didn't really get much out of it. They did. Uh, I, I love that they had old Bush. He smoked yeah, weed. I was yeah, but see, I was less impressed with it because of the characters. So the good stuff got by me because I was not impressed with who who they chose to play the characters. Oh, well, you know, all that's in the, all, you got to keep it dumb enough to keep the attention. Right, of exactly. The population. So I come from from growing up watching shit like Cary Grant, and now here we are in 2018, and we got somebody in Kumar. I mean, it sounds like a it sounds like a. a a symptom of something that drips off your dick. <laughs> so if I was going to impersonate Gary Grant, I'd have to, of course, go to the professor working with uh, Ginger. In, oh, did I uh, say the wrong name uh, again? Gary uh, Grant. Yeah. Ginger. Wait a minute. Ginger. Ginger. Uh, Mary Ann. Mary no, Ann. Wait a minute. I got Mary the wrong Ann. actor again is what I did. Uh, I'm going to look. I can do these things Gary. now. I remember when I couldn't open anything on the computer without blowing something up. Just sit right Gregory back Peck. Here oh, no, 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 no. Off get... a trip. Oh, you changed it. From it. this tropic bar, a more just mighty ship. <laughs> <laughs> what brings that crap to mind? <laughs> Killigan's wow. Island and Cary Grant wow. and the professor being oh, a, oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. acting coach. Uh, by Cary Jane. Grant d did a movie with a... Uh, a French actress or Italian actress about being on a boat. Then he did another one, Father Goose, where he was on an island and a boat. I remember little, that. But that yeah, nun, boat, yeah, boat load of little girls and a teacher get shipwrecked. Yeah, teacher or nun? No, they were. She teacher. was a maybe both. Yeah, I don't teacher or nun. Care, but she took care of the girls. It was yeah. like the Lord of the Flies with a grown up. <laughs> Piggy. Mind. <laughs> Give me your glasses, Piggy. That wasn't that bad. I was kidding. You saw the Lord. Ah, a lot of people are not familiar with that film. Some people that should watch it don't. They but they saw Reefer Madness and believed it was real. <laughs> Can you imagine? Even though film was new in the 1930s, if you've seen Reefer Madness, it's really hard to believe that that movie was scary. <laughs> It, I thought it was it was like a I, comedy. I see the picture in my mind. The dude sm starts smoking a joint, and then all of a sudden his eyes start getting all wide, and he's all like these big old wide teethy smiles. <laughs> I'm gonna kill somebody now. I wish I was black so I could rape some white women. <laughs> they actually somebody posted it. They had a politician go to court and swear that he turned into a bat after smoking. Marijuana. <laughs> what? He, he turned into a bat. bat. I, Thank you, I don't Harry know if Ratslinger. Grimner or a Java Doctor, somebody from the 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 new uh, real liberty dot org. I think it was over there. I saw it. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> you sound baddie to me. Well what the hell can I tell you? It's a strange world we live in here today, Mr. Vincent. As you probably no doubt have noticed. Y'all hear my clicking when I turn this mic on and off? I don't know. Check, check. Can you hear it? I'm touching it now. Um, can you hear that? Now I'm flicking yeah, it. Yeah, of course I can, you flicker of microphones. Are you broken? Hey, no. Do you need to hit that pipe and chill, man. You're too wound up. See, you're too tense. That's what your problem is. Oh, yeah. I drank. 
I had coffee. I drank my coffee. Yeah, you're I all bowled. worked up. You're like amped up, like a um, like a jumping, like one of those jacks in a box. No, and I was it, just checking my mic. Checking your mic? No, jacking my mic. Jack, jacking. Jack, your- yeah, jacking around with it, like this, moving around, touching it, turning wow. the switch on and off, you testing guys, it, moving it. You've got hello, some today. hello. So, what are you for today, and what are you not for today? Well, we'll transition towards the uh, first part of the title of today's broadcast, The God and Government. Mm. Yeah. So who so are you, you for, about God, God or government? God. Well, we've uh, talked about government, so now it's time yeah. to talk about God. Is there a God? I think that whatever it is, to me, it doesn't need me to defend or explain it to you or does define that, but yeah does that but, tell you okay. anything i mean i don't yeah know. i can i can go with that yeah it, now here's but, the other it could all be in my mind too because everything else seems to be let's talk about existence then we'll start with that where where do we come from what's hmm. uh what's what's your thoughts i told you last week and i got slapped you, around Gates. for it because i made a joke Doc. said I started out in my dad's nuts, and boom, here we are. And, and then, know. of course, well, and then of course, the women. Well, you start when the egg, when the egg hits the. the oh yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And We're so talking about uh, women's bodies. So that's like yeah, uh, a big a, red herring, right? I made a big. If you're talking a, about life, <laughs> I made it, a bad joke, but it's still, I I started out in my dad's nuts, and boom, here we are. <laughs> Prove me wrong. <laughs> I don't. I don't really care. Well, I just said it. <laughs> let's go back into to that point. So the egg in the woman's body. Yeah. Uh, somebody wouldn't have the right to come along and determine what she does with the eggs in her body, nor with the man the uh, the sperm uh, in his testicles. With uh, well, according but, to but my the question mom, was put, she was willing. The question. Yeah. The question that's been put forth in uh, here in chat, and then I also seen uh, something I think out of the Oregonian publication up there uh, about don't tell me what to do with my body. Um, but each individual is a separate life, all right. And where does life come from? Uh, what what is the origin origins of uh, where where we are right here? Where where do they come from? It depends where, on what you're taught to believe, because I don't well, think let's people explore just that. I don't think people just wake up one morning when they're four years old and decide. They're molded over years and years. And, and then at a certain age, you think, oh, well, I've always believed this. <laughs> what's, what's the possibilities or what is your ideology of uh, existence? Wow. It's really we... simple, but it's complex to explain. Oops. Tell me. But I'll sum it up in one sentence. No. I am all energy. Okay, I guess that's the broadcast. Uh, thanks for listening, folks. Wrap it up. <laughs> See you next week, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me that again. Let me hear you say what you said again. I am all energy. That's that's what I am. Is energy. All right. In, all right. And- that's a good place to start. Then we can start with that energy. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Thank you. What is energy? You want me to define it to you out of my little petty, uh, what would I call it? Uh, I, okay. Let me find a word. I would say energy is equal to, will that be enough? We can start with that. Because there's so many ways you can use energy. Defining it in one word is going to be a motherfucker. Okay. So. I'm going to define energy as physical reality. Yeah, I, I can go there. Energy uh, makes up matter. It's vibration. You know, to make it right? simple and so we don't get you know, these long, drawn-out, bullshitty explanations, just keep it real simple, right? How am I doing, Mr. Vincent? Do I get a uh, gold star? <laughs> yeah, you're doing good. <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to make it simple for me, not you. Okay. You're just lucky. Thank you. Yeah. I don't want to bullshit you along with a bunch of dazzly shit. I just want to get to an answer and go. 
There you go. <laughs> uh, so here it is then. So far, we've got uh, what is then that's energy, uh, vibration, matter, uh, anything like that. What, what we what we what we have that we exist in, right? Yes, and N- N- R G, as Grimner so clearly puts it on the R L M chat. What is it? N R G. Energy. Oh, N R G. N R G. Yeah. NRG. Wow, With, you're so slow today. Yeah, we need to get a dot NRG then. We'll have to come up with something that... Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, we don't have to do anything except... Hey, don't tell me what I don't have to do. Why not? Mister? Who's we in discuss, charge here? <laughs> we, dis- <laughs> we discussed government last hour, but I guess we can government. yeah incorporate I, that into free will. That uh, we exist like... All these little things that are all bouncing around and all this energy that is matter that we are. And where does that come from? Where do we go back? How far back can we go back in observation? Well, what Actual do you mean? You're observation. talking in time or well, yeah, be more specific. You're being phil- so philosoph- vague. Philosophical uh, observation. Uh, to take that uh, ponder gander and winder. Okay, but keep this in mind while you ask that question is, in my lifetime, I have been fed so much misdirection and bullshit from the very from the very systems that control information and communication that I felt it necessary to define okay. it by myself and not listen That's to That's what this. I'm looking for. That's what not, I'm looking for. What? Let's, let's go to, to you, what you see and what you think possibilities are. So forget what you've learned, even though you've got to have that into your. Oh your yeah, it's, it's there, foundation, obviously. right? Yeah. yeah. My so. my indoctrination is still going to be there somewhere. It's just I try to you know be aware of when it controls me. So where do you come from? I already told you. Yeah, but I asked you to go beyond. Where where is the possibilities of what is is where does it come from? Well, then I've always been here at some form. Maybe this is just another form of existence. Who, so we'll who, go, is, who is to we'll know go back for to sure? Energy. We'll go back yeah. to the energy, which is but, why well, I say I don't I don't know. I, there's no proof of any kind that there is an explanation for uh, uh, this mental beginning and mental end. I don't remember the beginning of my mental journey through life, but my parents have memories of me at very early ages telling me what I did and didn't do, but I've forgotten <laughs> Ruff, all that. I'm sorry. I got... Yeah. I got wait, wait, Ruff, wait. Ruff, but Ruff, I, I Ruff, I wait a minute. I, wait, Ruff, Ruff, squirrel. No, moose. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff. She's going to the dog shelter. <laughs> Go get that. But see, now you're confusing the point, though. But I just think that if it's energy and I can't remember a beginning, then I've always been here. I just might not have been able to speak about it. Or I mean, maybe the uh, the awareness is just a different some kind of different expression. Who's so energy is neither created nor destroyed, but no becomes less of a. It changes into something else. It transforms into other things. Like when you well, what, burn something, you get so many different layers of. You get ash. You get shit going off in the air. Who knows? I'm not a. And, I'm not a. And then as you continue to use those things up, they become uh, less available, transferring that energy, and eventually, right. there's nothing left to transfer. Well, information. Yeah, we're we're lied to about what's. What the best thing is to use? What do you mean? Use what? Hemp. <laughs> oh. If you used hemp as a resource for as a mainstay, it would be and replace all the synthetic shit that we've been you know bringing on all these years. Just replace it all with hemp. Clean this whole mess up in a few years. Might not take that long. And there's other shit that the you're going the wrong makes, direction. We're we're going but, back. 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 You're, you're coming back, to back. right now trying to go uh, to the future. We're going back. Oh, that's because I'm still alive, you moron. Oh, yeah, well, all I can say about the energy Focus. Thing is... Focus. Like, I, I can't remember a beginning, 
So in some version of the explanation, in my mind, I must think I've always been here. Well, you, you can't demonstrate that. Yeah, I don't remember the beginning at all. Some other people had to tell me about it. <laughs> There's your message, I guess. Focus. Uh, Focus. <laughs> you big bully. Anyway. Oh, Why, do you remember that. do you remember being born? I don't. Certainly not. Certainly. Well, not. there you I go. Can, so I can only make uh, observations and uh, try to put things in, in in order to make sense, right? Right, but you know, I think we've seen enough movies and we've had enough input from other sources that are just as um con uh, convincing that a person can believe they they can convince himself they remember being born they remember their first step you i've heard people tell me the most insane shit the and mind the time, is uh, a marvelous thing uh fantastic yeah, but cool at times how do you how do you know the liar is lying to you and not telling him the self the truth you know <laughs> they could be lying to themselves or being deceived well, or in um, or misled in a perception of uh, what if they believe a conclusion it? just because uh, people die uh, near death experiences and they see this light at the t end of the tunnel thing <laughs> that's common. That, yeah. that doesn't mean uh, it's an actual portal, does it? It just means that the, I don't the mind's shutting down and the, like a TV screen but to the dot, you know, back in the, the old days of television. There's supposed to be billions of us, though. So how could the end of this whatever this thing is, being as it go, you can go out in so many different fashions, then the end isn't the same for everybody. So there is really no end. There's an event. Okay. We've, we've gone to the end again instead of the begin. In. Where does, the, okay, where does the energy go? Well, the universe would be a closed system, wouldn't it? Since it's uh, going towards disorder. It's winding We're down like a clock. Well, is it the, not? We're supposedly enclosed by a thing called, what, the ozone? That's and, just the world. We're talking about right, the entirety right, right. of what oh, we can Christ. observe. Well, the entirety of what I can observe only more confuses me because I listen to the bogus explanations of the educated. And what I see does not match the shit they tell me. It just makes me angry. It's just like okay, the, the way that I... Let, let, well, maybe we need to figure out what it is that you've been told that uh, boggles your mind. <laughs> oh, this gets all the this gets all the Hansels going. And, and listen, but we need to focus on and stay at the beginning. Okay, now to 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 know the story, start at the end by all means. But you have uh, to to really tell the story. You have to go back to the beginning, right? Well, my favorite one is the spinning globe. All right, we'll skip to flat Earth. That's uh, well, it's complicated. not even so much the the concept of a flat Earth being a being an alternative to a spinning globe. It's just the concept of the fucking spinning globe thing doesn't make sense to me, for certain reasons that other people makes sense always, to most people. Okay, why why does water not roll off? It rolls off a ball. <laughs> <laughs> water f seeks its own fucking level. Well, gravity, because everything's pulled in. Towards okay, the there you mass. go. Okay, how can that not just be mass? <clears throat> and if you're riding a train and you jump up, the train doesn't just shoot out from under you. When I when I water my plants, sometimes I I tinker around with the water, and there'll be a dry spot of soil, and I'll just put enough water up there for it to beat up up on the top of that soil. It and doesn't matter if it's flat or round, anyways, but. In my book that I'm writing in, in uh, yeah, yeah, wait, wait, in my I'm head. Enjoying, so, hey, I'm the world, enjoying it my ends. story. Oh. Okay, so it ends though. Mm -hmm. it, it is flat. Well, he doesn't well, right out and say it, but I, I don't flat. know. I, it's not even the point. The point I was trying to make is the just point the is on top of your head, dog. The the ridiculous to me of the explanation, and everybody I've ever met that's got at least a high school education will almost always ex uh, accuse me of being a flat earther, but yet incapable themselves <clears throat> of offering any proof to the round globe thing. It's nothing more to me from other people's input, nothing more than another theory, story, history, blah, blah, blah. No proof.
What do you got? Beatles. I show got me. Beatles. I mean, I got... you know, if, if you said, show me proof that, that there's a Vinny, I'd put on your, the camera and look at your picture. You know what I mean? There's Vinny. I listen to you on the radio. There's Vinny. But where's the fucking picture of the fucking earth? So you don't believe the earth exists? Sometimes I don't. Maybe that's it. Maybe if you took it down to a small enough uh, microscopic level, all this shit, it's all in your head. It's all made up. This is the way um, physics explains it. The more you break things down, the less of it there is. <laughs> you make it real by by visually seeing it. Then all the confusion gets in because you encounter other people and we have common languages and we walk into trees. But yet physics has different explanations. <laughs> okay, how come these different explanations only work in certain topics? You can have a double standard explanation for like religion, but you can't have it for, hey, I kicked my fucking foot into this table. Why? <laughs> You need a definite reason for why the, the, your leg hurts after you kick the table, but you only have to have faith to believe in a religion. <laughs> you know, whether you believe the table is there or not, but you kicked it, that made it there. See? The other thing, it's all what you want it to be. Wow. You, that makes my head hurt, man. Tell me about it, but that's kind of the fucked up way I've I've accepted to look at it. The thing that watches over me, whatever it is, does a great job. It loved me very much. <laughs> if the man was in the, the woods and uh, couldn't get any internet reception, would the cable really exist? No. Of course not. <laughs> it's just like, you know, if, if, I, if I speak to a Danish guy that don't speak English, he doesn't know what I'm saying. But he still gets a vibration to that ear bone. Sometimes that's not facial expressions, and the way you say a word in Danish is different than in English. So the the inflections that we're used to depending on are gone. Danish is a tough language, man. I'm glad I don't meet too many people that don't speak a little English. Okay, talk like a a Danish person speaking English, like if you was gonna do an impersonation. I, I, couldn't possibly do that. You're I wouldn't kidding. Know it. No, I'd have to speak. I Danish. think you're just lazy. Well, that's for that's your opinion. I uh, and I tell you this: if people choose to live the way I've chosen to live, and you do it, and you're nice to everybody that you do it with, it's cool. They just laugh it all off. They don't really care. And it's not like I'm moving in with them and gonna start cooking them dinner because I spoke some fucking Danish. <laughs> they're just people I'm encountering out in public here and there it's it's no big deal to them here's a good question from Beetle why don't they invent a keyboard that has all the letters in a row you know alphabetically did, uh, did I ever tell you did I ever tell you what my mother-in-law told me when I first met her about learning Danish that your mother uh, that she was ugly and your mother dresses you funny nope but Margaret was very clear, and she said to me, if I learn to speak Danish, they'll speak in slang. And if I learn that slang, they'll change it to another slang. Hey, Joseph Green. Now, do, do you understand what I just told you in basic, plain, simpleton, or do I have to explain it to you, sir? I, I would like it explained to me. That if I learn to speak Danish and they don't want me to know what they're saying, they will use slang. And if I learn to speak Danish and then learn that slang, they'll use a different slang. Why would they do that? So that I wouldn't know what they were saying. Women uh, talk privately. And then doing it in a language I don't understand it gives them a freedom that, hey, it's like I don't know what's going on, so they're freer. Because I'm free. Well, it's Girl. her mom and her. They've, these people have known each other and they've lived amongst each other their whole life. They're not the Roe v. Stogers of me and you became. 
Hey, here's Grammy Mary. Uh, her uh, hey, Miss Mary. Rocket Chair podcast over on BitChute. I heard With, her last uh, night. Cancer, yeah. cancer, heard- gateway drugs, yeah. magic, stem shell, uh, stem cells. Hey. Did and you hear her show Wednesday? Drugs, Graham. She uh, got man. She was on fire like a like a nun. <laughs> really? I got. Uh, oh yeah. I have. Uh, I I have her tweets or their post on the uh, the uh, Real Liberty Media Facebook page. When she posts, uh, it comes back to my uh, Twitter sphere line over here. Oh uh, yeah. No, I, I avoid the Twitter thing. I'm tired of it. I've been so, tired of it for about the last shut year. Up. Why? What? I like no, the I'm small. I like the small things like this uh, RLM, uh, the RLO, the new RLO. It's not too big yet, and there's still a few people I can chitter chatter with if I wanted to. And some of them are even over here visiting today. Mental pancakes came over. Well, not some, maybe one. <laughs> but it's still nice to get visited by somebody that you know. I think so anyway. And me and you did pretty good for. Uh, Dork Table Tuesday night. We had a few people pick up the show and then check out what kind of crap we were talking about. That's right. I really wanted to do the opposite and hold up my end, but now you don't want to play. Oy. I can't well, I've been trying, but you just won't cooperate. No, I never do. So, so the waiter comes back to the table <laughs> and he says, Rabbi, we have no... Uh, no, oh, we have orange juice, we have tomato juice, but we have no Mexican juice. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Hey, I'm telling you, man, I'm a minority within a minority. <laughs> it's insane. It's like it. It's like being a millionaire without a, without the money. I'm so special in the confines of my mind. Oh, it's so wonderful to be me. Ah. Could you imagine if you woke up somebody else tomorrow? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, you and Goober would do a mind meld and you would wake up Goober tomorrow. Wow. But not know it. <laughs> but be you as him. <laughs> and him be you. <laughs> He'd be telling me I need to shoot down the chemtrail planes with the Air Force. <laughs> Never mind. Um, it's a long story. He was fun. I got a kick out of him. Goob's different, isn't he? Uh, desert, everybody's desert different. The same thing they say pop. about you and me. and every, That's the whole fucking point, man. If you want to <laughs> be like everybody else, oh, go, join, it was go join the Republicans. Hey, go join the Republicans, man. You could be just like everybody else. I'm a pessimist. I'm a pessimist. I believe I'd be a Republican. Really? Yeah. So uh, you're not for either team, huh? No. Are you an anarchist-minded son of a bitch? Yeah, I I officially joined the Anarchist Party for America. Wow. In other parts of the world. So you're one of those lame ass motherfuckers that thinks you know better than everybody else. Well, I obviously do. Wow. You mean the, the opinions problem of is, the problem wait, is folks like you. The opinions of total strangers shouldn't dictate your fucking existence. What what kind of American are you, sir? A real American. Hmm. Well, you won't bend over and take it up the bazooie? <laughs> I think you've gone too far. <laughs> Implied consent. <laughs> Implied consent. I tried to kill a befriended duck, Chloe, just... over here. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. you are you a killer? I only. Uh, I'm very anti-duck. I'm an anti-duck person. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, you and your. I, I, I favor is it the like goose. Like a fear. What is no. it? Like a phobia or something? No, I. I just I had a duck and I, um, he was he was a dirty duck. Ah, did he bite you or something? No, no, no. no. Okay, they're just, well, they're nasty critters. But Mister Anarchy, <clears throat> who will build your roads? Like the scholarship roads? <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> <You> dumbass. <laughs> 
I was I was being political. <laughs> yeah, but that was last hour. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're not we're not nailed down that uh, where the beginning was. Well, that's we, because my answer is so obscure; it even makes me wonder what the hell that means. All right. Well, it's, let's it's a look very at uh, difficult topic topic to really talk about without sounding strange, because nobody well, ever talks at, about it. Let's look at some of the implications involved. Mm. I, I I was trying to go to: Is there a God? Would you say yay or nay? You're well, supposed to be see, say there is no God, as I say there is a God. Oh, but you want not the opposites for real, and I'm still in a serious. Yeah, I try. I tried to get your oh, opinion, but yeah, yeah it's okay, too so vague. I got it. Okay, and which side am I on again? <laughs> too vague. Uh, I don't know. Positions. I think we'll call them positions. Yeah, okay, but there's there's good cause for both sides of the argument, though. All right. Why is there no God? Why is there no God? Uh, because. It's a matter of interpretation, pal, and you can't force your fucking God on me if I don't want it. No, no, no. You're, why is there no God? You're supposed to say, there is no that's God. Probably the best answer that could be come up with is that, I outside of I don't know, you'd have to stand on, you can't tell me what to think, because there's no opposition to why or, or what. If we are created as uh uh, creatures uh, with free will wouldn't that yeah. be a, a creator or a god that says uh, uh, yeah do as you will and yeah but the free will thing's just a bunch of bullshit well no you you have the right to uh, do as you oh, will and somebody right. might come with an e equal or greater opposing force and stop that from happening mm. right you, but you think so yeah so, uh, but what's the results of uh, what is free will that that you can you're you you're free to choose your own action and what happens with actions? There's right, result. I was indoctrinated. There's result. I was still indoctrinated at very early age to uh, have a certain kind of uh, backbone to my style in life. Well, I've lost, got lost here, and that's the only answer that I've ever seen. Yeah, what? Uh, why? Why? Chloe, you're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to clear. I that don't up. know why. What? It's not a stupid. That's not an answer. It's a stupid question. Well, I don't know. It's he's just being argumentative, Grimner. But uh, are they talking about roads? Did we really get lost in the roads? Oh, that's right. Maybe it was the. I'm reading two minutes behind or something me too I'm, I'm stoned but god in your god is it's all whatever you want something to be is what it is that's the way i think about it so if well I choose to you believe don't you don't make you iron or nobody else determines what god is god is if he be then he is right beyond then our how own do you explain, spirit definition then but how do you explain the people that listen to somebody else's interpretation of god <laughs> because they follow seeking under guy's... well i'd say that's pretty easy it's there <clears throat> they they seek to uh, uh uh understanding of uh, this perception and then they get somebody just like anything else whether it be religion or politics whether uh uh, whichever it be, that gets somebody that's saying some things that make sense. And then uh, pretty soon you got to have it all written down and uh, put in uh, jot and tittle and line and all that. So then then you get bogged down in, in uh, rhetoric and uh, dogma and ideology and so forth. Uh, that That's the segregation uh, of religion. But we're, we're not really talking religion nor, nor even faith, but uh, um, it's where I'm trying to go is – uh, is is how we interact in this world and this idea of right and wrong um, in our actions that's uh, you know exercising this free will so uh, one would uh, then I get us at this point beg the question that that God is uh, regardless of uh, our definition wow you got all deep and shit man I don't know what to say to you now you're too smart now you're getting all like Mary 
going all way brainiac on me. I thought you were at the dork table here. We're going to argue about shit. And you're getting all philosophical and wise. Making fucking sense, Vinny. What's wrong with you? <gasps> I got elixir from the wife. Oh, I'm the king. It's good to be the king. It's good to be a king. And and as far as the um, citing on the argument that Grim and Chloe are so, you know, involved in at the moment. Well, it's not a distraction. It, maybe it is a distraction, but it all goes back to what you have a different expression of how I see indoctrination in us runs so deep that if you are indoctrinated, truly indoctrinated, you don't know you are. I'm doing sound that, effects. That that's a horrible sound. What are you? <laughs> it sounds like you're like you need to oil your I, balls. I was I was just imitating. I was doing a, a flash somebody imitation. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like you're oiling your balls wait, in the wait, background wait, there. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> Even the wife said, "Hey, knock it off. Hey, <laughs> on the balls." <laughs> You're welcome. So, uh, once government's gone, there will be roads. It's kind of like the uh, Freetown. They went and occupied something. The uh, infrastructure, uh, where will the initiative and the uh, the funds come from for initial uh, construction? See, it's an all a carefully intertwined ball of shit that if you recognize any component of it as shit, then your your whole fucking thinking process goes to shit. So you you can't both believe and and not believe. You either buy the whole fucking game or you don't. There there is no maybe about this kind of shit. So the person that believes that without society we would all be killing each other and eating you know eating uh, animals carcasses. They're, that's them projecting what they are on us. Because when I see government abolished or gone or forgotten or whatever happens to it, I just see a bunch of neighbors you know, going on their way. These people aren't going to hurt me. All right. That was last hour. No, I'm still what? I'm, uh, you're not the boss of me, mister. <laughs> well, maybe you are, and I just don't want to admit it. <laughs> Strike on box. <laughs> I'll settle this argument. There is no settling that argument, Beetle. That's the whole fucking point. It's a built-in no win in the system. They, it's built in. They've got 50 of them. You get past five and you find 10 more. It doesn't matter. You will not win this fight. It's not made to be fought, uh, to be won. It's made to be a fight. <laughs> That's all it is. See, until your military decide it wants its land back. See, based on your opinion of people away from your environment, because that's what Cirque was all angry about. Me and you look at, I was in Freetown for eight fucking months every week, but I still see it as an American. I don't see my surroundings as a person that, that was living here. Stupid I'm a American. Visitor. I'm a, well, yeah, that's pretty much her attitude. She got kind of hot, but that's the same as me knowing what I know about California in the old days that people never saw because it changed, and now they see the mess they see. I got you something. Uh-oh. Did I miss the density, says Mr. Rubworks. Not really. It could all disappear in a puff of smoke. Smoke of puff. Military vehicles rolling through, evicting everyone. See, that's the fear-mongering that America has unleashed on people that they think is everywhere, and it's not. It's only where you believe it is, where you see it physically. Rules. And, there are rules. You, yeah, that's right. It, There's ru yeah. rules to... To the so universe, what? right? Rules. Yeah. You can't. You can't just say, uh, "Yeah, we'll pick our rules" because all rules apply. Well, how different do you think things would be if the electricity was delivered on the right generating cycle? That would be so great, wouldn't it? 
I think it would shift behaviors you know, from side to side, world, you know, corner to corner, whatever this fucking thing is we're on. Well, people would people would not be so aggressive. We're aggressive because of the fucking waste in the wavelength. It makes sure all the heat, energy, and anger, yeah, energy, exactly. Living that's off of dead started. things that that we live off of that comes out of the ground is uh, is pretty cheap horsepower. Very cheap Whoa, horsepower. Yeah. And it's tasty too. Yeah. Yeah, my wife has taught me how to grow things. No, I'm talking about dead things. It's not live things. Yeah, but live things. See, grow that's the other first. side. Yeah, but you got to grow them. You don't just start out with it. You got a seed or a plant, and you put it in the dirt and water it. And I'm talking about dead here, things here. deep underground. Coal, Uh-oh. oil, natural gas. Oh, here we that. go with that yeah. shit. Here to, we to go. Use, can, to use live things, that's uh, much more of a process. More energy, All right? But okay, so what they've it, got what, everybody what convinced. Live? Life well, or death? Got, well, they've got people convinced that oil is better than hemp. And that's the problem. Hemp needs how, to be... How much, how many fields of hemp would it take to uh, produce a biofuel to replace diesel alone? The diesel industry, trucking, so forth. What, do I look like a computer? Like, come on, I'm not that. You think, uh, you think there's enough earth that we could, that oh, would be Oh, hell viable? yes. Oh, yeah. They've proven there's enough earth to put everybody equally on an acre of land on, like, Australia. So it's not about overcrowding and an overpopulation. No, it's about, no, no. That's, it's about the, that's, the control of the fucking resources by a few sure, rich people. But, yeah, but no, no. Yeah, I'm talking about hemp specifically. Is there enough land we could grow oh, fuck hemp yeah. to produce, uh, you know, Absolutely. without moving everybody to Australia, Mike? No, what I said is there's enough room in Australia to give everybody an acre of land that's alive now. And Yeah, but that's a separate point. You could take okay, everybody. Well, it's all inclusive to me, but you, you know, could whatever. you could take everybody in the world and kill them and stack them up in the and make a dam across the uh, Grand Canyon a mile deep and uh, uh, ten miles across and about three hundred foot wide. Ouch! Yeah. It's let's let's stink. yeah. After a while. Well, and there's also enough. Uh, there's enough technology. People have figured out what how to grow food in. Uh, frozen climates nebraska this guy has an underground and it's way bigger than a garden experience this thing is manufactured they know what their plants are going to yield from one season to the next they yeah know that's how pretty to rotate. cool stuff yeah this guy was in nebraska i seen the video it was just incredible how much knowledge people have when you leave them the fuck alone and let them play and keep government out of it and I believe that is our that would be the best alternative, and that's why I choose anarchy as a mode of thinking instead of government. Because I don't like you telling me I got to have an inoculation so that the guy that got inoculated doesn't get sick because I didn't get inoculated. Doesn't make any fucking sense. It's just double talk. You're not trying hard enough. My people are good at the double talk. I'm telling you, you need three of these because four just won't do it. You know what I'm talking about? I, I, it's what I need to, to, for you to do is the first word that comes to mind in the opposite of what I'm saying. I want you to say, it. okay, good. Oh, go, uh, bad. Very good. <sighs> Easy. That, does okay. that mean I'm saying you're bad? War. I don't know. War. I thought you said warp. I know. I'm, oh, war. Peace is the opposite. Thank you. War. Okay. Yeah. Hey, now you're catching on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not very good at these word uh, misassociation games, Mr. Vincent. You're not trying I have hard my, I, ha I don't try to do much. <laughs> I've got a reputation to maintain here, sport. Come on. <laughs> Give an old man a break. <laughs> Giving okay. a dog a bone. Hey, fuck off, Mr. Give a Dog. You got the wrong dog. Ah. Potty mouth. I know. Huh? Anyway. Hey. So now what, man? I should go until someone makes me sit down, says the woodman. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe they're cooking in the 
RLM chat room. Everybody's hot and spicy. They're talking about air conditioning, so they must be whining about the heat. You know what I want to whine about? What? Global warming. You know, that's causing a one minute difference in uh, the time warp between me and you. No, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, it is true. Okay. Well, what time okay. do you have? Let me prove it. 1940. See, I got 740. I got 1238. Really? That's two minutes yeah, different. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's getting worse. Whoa. So because somebody's fucking with clocks, you think the weather's changing? No. No. Climate. Climate. Well, what am I missing? Cl climate change. Climate change. Yeah. Mm. Well, if they stop doing, if the idiots that are doing the shit they're doing because they believe <laughs> this shit is real would stop doing it, things would be okay. But they keep fucking with us. We're being experimented on like lab rats. You know that, right? Yeah. And the government just, they apologize for the shit they do, but they never stop doing it. And they never really <laughs> identify exactly what they did. They just put, like, the president up there and go, oh, we're sorry for, you know, committing an atrocity <laughs> against you, but you'll get a nice little check in the mail and shh. <laughs> Here's your apology. Next generation, please. Climate change, Grim. They're not global warming. Well, yeah, but see, there you go. You're you're splitting hairs. Because well, I'm not. Media, a, I'm not even being serious, neither. Yeah, but the media is ongoing a hold joke of, between yeah, you the and I. Just for people that didn't know, <laughs> they've gotten a hold of all this shit and they've just perverted it out of belief. Convince people that the answer is the problem, <laughs> just like they did with hemp. Pattern after problem. fucking you pattern. You just won't cooperate. I know. What should I do? Is there a form I can fill out to straighten this up? Yeah, but <laughs> it's going to cost you. Uh, how much? Well, we'll talk I about that. I don't know. Thing. That's where I draw the line, mister, is it when depends. you start wanting commerce. It, no. it, it, it depends how much you can make out of this is how many people that you can get to come in underneath you and they, them, others uh, underneath them. It's a real big, uh, it's a real big, great opportunity. Very huge Great, great, very great. Get in at the ground floor level. The ground floor level of what? This thing we're talking about. Like reality? No. And how, and how subjective it truly is? And you wanted to know you. how, and I can only tell you in stages, and that requires a monthly subscription. To? Me. Yeah. All Send right, me all your verse. Yes. Miniverse. Hey, I didn't get a, yeah, I didn't get a name for today, did I? Where's Rob Works? No. I mean, not Rob, where's uh, Frumpy yet? Frumpy, did, I thought he was here. He was lo he was loaded up and, and armed as, hold on, let me see where his name went. Uh, Frumpy, right after me on the RLNM. He must be away. He probably doesn't like me no more. He doesn't. He I, said, I, yeah. yeah. He said you was a dirty hippie. Yeah, probably. I grew my hair too long again. Anyway, I don't know. But I haven't seen him, so I don't know what to tell you. Maybe he had to go uh, do some yard work and thought it was uh, time of day to do it. Huh. Who is to know? Well, I know Maybe he was I know. kidnapped by illegal aliens, and they're holding him hostage in an undisclosed location in Tucson, Arizona. I'm thinking about lunch. Hmm. I'm thinking some thinking about GMOs. Lunch. Yeah, it's some uh, oh, and free GMOs. GMOs, are, GMOs they're good for and you. Frijoles. They're good for or, you too. They they grow a third eye. Yeah. Beans. You'll be able to yes. You'll be able to read without Pasta, opening your eyelids in, okay, inside so, of eight years. Mm. Yeah, we got. Are you well, looking? Are you looking forward to? The, are you looking forward to your evolution due to the injections? Uh, no, I really don't get any injections. Injections? Weren't you inoculated for? Um, that was a long time stuff? ago. Yeah, that's what, what didn't give you no a, flu like, shot. No. Oh, you sick prick! You mean you're go running around getting all those people that got shot sick? Oh. You bastard! I'm yeah. I'm disappointed in you, Vinny. Oh, there's my. Wow. I had to feed him today. 
Hmm. Yeah, but these people went and got a shot so they wouldn't get sick, and you're not getting that shot, and you're going to get them sick. The power that you hold. Wow. It's, you're like a superhero. I How do you do it? How do you, uh, what do you calling it? Uh, what are you calling I, it? I was talking squirrel. Yeah, but oh, wow, and I had such a deep, important question. Oh well, all for naught. Here we go. On to the next topic. We go. <laughs> talking squirrel. Wow, so yeah, so I've, uh, I'm restocking oh, wow. my uh, uh, long-term. Uh, food supply it's been a few years so since i got back i decided to start restocking feeding that stuff to uh, the squirrels uh the peanut butter went out like a year or so ago but it's it's probably it's still good but i'm a, i've been feeding that to them too they really like it i stick it on a limb and i get up there and it's like hey, he, yeah. he, he's over like where's my peanut butter man no camera no you you poor guy you need a camera I got a camera on this phone. Why, you want some well, uh, live feed or something? No, I just wanted to see your squirrel eating the peanut butter. I thought oh. it might be a musical. But you never know. I've been laughing at stuff that wasn't a musical every now and again. What's ops, please, Beetle? What's he oh, oh, he's not even yes, listening. Please. He doesn't have speakers. Uh, they're talking in the RLM chat about deep things. I don't know what, but there's all kinds of crap going on over there, being as you don't have nothing going on, Mr. Argumentative. Yeah, you wouldn't cooperate. Yeah, but when you, when you croak, where do you think you go? You're a religious guy, right? No. Oh, you're just a God guy, not a religious guy? Spiritual yeah. guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. However you want to so, try to match. Oh, look, he's got it. He's eating uh, out of the crack. It's like a split have limb. You, I have you ever in. noticed? Have you ever noticed though? Religious people will tell you, and spiritually speaking, people will usually say something like, "I'm not really sure," or mm, "You tell me," but they I, won't commit. Well, well, if if you want to know what it is, I, I think I think when you you die, you're dead, and uh, mm. yet uh, that life force that makes you up goes back to where it uh, came from. You know, goes to. Uh, uh, and then where but, where's but, that but by faith my faith is is one day that oh, okay. when all this ends because i think this is a um a result to what existence is and why the uh you know the death and suffering in the world is a result of uh mm -hmm. free will and at a time when uh, the question of is god fair came about and uh the results of uh these decisions that are, are wrong what is you know what wouldn't be right is is wrong so and, and that would be the opposite between life and death so I, but that's that's the short of the long of it but i think you die you die and then uh uh when when the the judgment comes there will be a time that uh, decision will be made you know righteous or unrighteous and, really yeah i i think that uh that uh that uh okay but man what? is judging god is the same time we all right, judge ourselves. you took a you took a different road to get where you're at, right? Can you identify what it was that took you down that particular road to that particular belief? Well, when I look at the possibilities that um, what it is that we are in here, this world, and the evidence that uh, uh, we're, we're not a really, really, you know, billions of years old that uh, uh, man and dinosaur walk together uh, evidence for that so that would be you know the short of uh, very very short there's a lot to it flood geology and stratification and uh, uh, a geological uh, that would determine to me that uh, the the earth that we see uh, was a rapid creation and there's there's a great deal of evidence for that uh, you can use science and extrapolation and the rotation of the earth, the uh, distance from the sun and so forth like that. Um, so I, I say then what is the possibilities of God or this uh, primordial egg? And I say that uh, for something to uh, 
exist, there has to be outside source of so a clock ticking down required, not only for the clock to be made, but also be wound. And uh, then when I look at uh, what it is that, that we are in here in this, this, uh, this world of, uh, you know, suffering and death in the end, um, it, it is a result of, of a, a system that uh, um, basically by, by wrong choice. Uh, but I'm not doing a good job of pinning this in here together. But anyways, let me let me pause and let you uh, catch up. No, you have quite a long explanation for my my version of it. Is I just flip a coin and go with whatever shows up, heads or tails. Well, ultimately, that that right and wrong decision that you know we've all uh, certainly don't make the right decision all the time, but uh, that. To uh, to strive for uh, for doing the right thing. Uh, I don't believe you fall into the right or wrong of anything. I think it's your intention at, at yeah. a deeper level than you're aware of knowing. Yeah. And your results are a result of what you put out there. You return get returned. Yeah. And I don't mean like me and hands bantering on the internet. I mean like when I go out in public and I do my little bit of commerce with these kids in the stores and whatnot. Um, it's not drudgery. It's kind of fun. I enjoy it. it. It's nice to see kids that are happy, you know, teenager kids just doing a job and they're not all mumbling about, oh, I got to be here. They're just nice and doing their job. And then they go, you know, they complain to themselves amongst, you know, they don't do it to the, the customer. Doesn't, you know, I don't get treated here like I'm at Walmart. To have Flintstones. You know, where, where you ask somebody for for help and you're bugging them because they got a you know they're texting somebody <laughs> or talking to a supervisor or they woke up with piles or whatever that you know that person's problem is and it seems to be in the English speaking world that people are a lot ruder to each other than in the non English speaking worlds that I visit. course you live in the states and smother yourself in you know hometown regalia so your international days are limited <laughs> mine have only just begun <laughs> there's your rules for uh, freetown thanks chloe yeah they they got rules and uh but the people that live there have lived there forever so if if you live in a society you know how to behave in it that's just so that the natives don't go, you know, not the natives, but the visitors don't go stupid. Because you get people from other countries that have um, less regard for society, let's say, than, say, somebody that was born in a specific neighborhood. The visitor might not be so cautious. You know what I mean or not? Mm. I guess not. Mm. Look at how people that you know where you live, how they behave, and then somebody comes in out of town from out of town nobody's ever saw before. Yeah, we got that going on. Okay, well, this is right in a metropolis, but the people that are living there for 40 fucking years, they know you're a visitor because they know all their own people. You and know the difference between a what, Yankee and a damn Cirque, Yankee? What, yeah, yeah, but what Cirque was trying to get across to my opinion of it is uh, people just know how to behave more so than the enforcement part of it. And there's a common decency amongst societies here that we don't have ho at home anymore. Not in a big city. Maybe in a small, like where Mary lives. Mary would be familiar with that. Or maybe Cowboy Tech. Cowboy seems wherever, uh, whatever society that he does engage in, it seems that he's okay with it. You know, he doesn't seem to come in the room complaining about everything every day, like other people do. <laughs> Whoops, I slipped, and <clears throat> fell on my ego. Well, I guess I would just say do the right thing. I say do what you can live with. It's a little bit v vaguer, but it it makes a point. Because there's some things that some people can do without conscience that other people can't do. 
Well, and those people would do something that they can live with, which somebody so, else yeah, might not to, literally or actually figuratively yeah. be able to do so. They so might I not try to w- work with people that have stronger um, capabilities in areas where I'm weak. Well, I can see that impress the fuck out of you. Yeah. I'm thinking uh, about coffee. You're thinking again? Stop doing that. I'm reading. <sighs> yeah. Oh, you're reading the Freetown thing that Chloe posted? Yeah. Uh-huh. I wonder how. Uh, yeah, well, I wonder how old that is. Uh, Two thousand five. Okay, well, that's a long time ago. This is, <laughs> this is today. And that's what I mean by the press. Uh, somebody put something on the new, uh, on the new Real Liberty Org, about Denmark, and and my comment was you know, the press does this everywhere. They show you what they want you to see and the light they want you to see it in. And kind of guides you to a certain decision to make of what you saw. It's not just random. Oh, look at what they're doing. These things are planned and delivered in a, in a way to get a reaction, and it works. Fred Kersbald podcast is up. Uh, Mr. Wisconsin, Mr. Burt Reynolds, Nike, Syria, yeah. false flag, and I, I got up for half the show this morning. I was up early. Thanks, Chloe. And yeah, Burt Thanks, Reynolds Bremner. croaked. Great yeah. comedian, lousy actor. But What's your favorite what I, movie with Burt Reynolds? Uh, I don't have a oh, Deliverance. <sighs> Smoking the Bandit, uh, The Longest Yard. Mm. He's been in a lot. Nah, that was all that comedy shit. Nah, the the only acting Jump he ever did was. The only acting he ever did, as far as I'm concerned, is Deliverance, and the rest you haven't of it was seen, just comedy what, and shit. You haven't seen The Longest Yard? I think that yeah, was comedy. It was comedy. Yeah, it that was, was about comedy? a football game. Yeah. Oh. Comedy. Yeah. Or uh, where he was going to make a deal with God. You know, uh, what the hell was that? No. Where he, he was going to die, and he's making a deal with God to come back or something. What was it oh, called? I don't remember. I'll think of it. I'll think of it and get back to you next week on it. But. We've been on the dork table, not doing it right like usual. <laughs> we'll straighten it out. And take us out with who's coming and where they're coming at and where you get towels to clean up, Benny. Well, tomorrow Grimner's uh, blowing some blues, and we're playing trivia right here in the uh, chat room at reallibertymedia.com. He said blowing blues. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so that's, uh, well, Eastern time we got to translate, but uh, let's just go Pacific time. Yeah, that begins at 9, and then at noon, we go to Hal Anthony behind the woodshed and uh, getting some notice in the news. Uh, then, what, Tuesday, I think me and you are going to kick something again. And Wednesday, I hope so. uh, yeah, Grammy Mary and back around to Freakers uh, Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Freakers so, Friday and Grammy Mary. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to hold off on any ponder gander for a little bit. Uh, while uh, me and you do our deal right here. And, um, oh, yeah, maybe, just uh, come take a break and screw yeah. around for a while, sure. Yeah, maybe I'll yeah. get back in the, in the, the muse. Um, yeah, a lot, lot going with that. Nah, yeah. just give your little mind a break, Vinny. Relax, yeah. breathe. <laughs> so, this is working good here. We had some uh, tech uh, technicals here uh, today with the uh, Skype in, but... Pretty much okay. It seemed to have been <laughs> me because once I rebooted the whole damn system and started it fresh, that ended. Yeah, I couldn't go through my computer. I'm going through my uh, Android here for the Skype, so that's holding all right. Transferring between uh, Windows, and that worked all right. No drop and kick. Yeah, but what about the children? Yeah. Hmm? They'll are grow you going to save them? They'll grow How? up. How? If they keep getting aborted, how are you going to grow them up? <laughs> Stem cell research! <laughs> Drink Pepsi. Fucking, fucking monsters, I swear. People can be kind into anything. Just tell them science needs it. All right. Hashtag that in our broadcast. Gods and monsters, then. 
Uh, because hey, the goddess by the ball ticklers. All right. <laughs> Most of us, anyway. And the ones they don't have are kicking and screaming about how free they are. Yeah. I'm free. <laughs> Look well, at thanks, me. Uh, I, can, I can drive. <laughs> thanks for dorking, dork. I want to see my license. Could I see your papers, please? Bye-bye. Thanks, Flash. Thanks, everybody. Hey, thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us this week. See ya Tuesday.